What is up guys, Mike to Memo here and welcome to my YouTube channel and most of all welcome to my Gothic 3 playthrough the playthrough of the Hashishin Beliar episode unknown part unknown I'm really really confused right now but um we're gonna go to I believe it was uh Gotha we were had done so fairing it is we're gonna go to fairing so let's wait for the freaking loading screen. Ten years later. Now come on. Hayaku please. It took the BC a whole minute. Who would have thought? Alright, so let's go to Fering and then we're gonna go to Vanguard and then we're gonna go to Nordmar. Well, in a bit we're gonna go to Nordmar. It's about, uh, I don't know, two, three, maybe four episodes away. But we're getting there slowly. Of course that's not enough. Should have known. Is it wrong to be smart, my friends? You be the judge. Kick his ass, Gorn. Kick his ass. Filthy beast indeed. Very good job. And my good friend Gordon. Should be more walks around here. I want to kill them all.
so much for you. Good job, guys. Good job. Easy PC man, easy. Take it easy man, holy shit. Wasn't there a third one? That's what you said, Mr. Demon. Should have been. Stop the fighting. This is not good, I cannot help him. I cannot attack the demon, I have to wait. And we gotta do it that way. Otherwise, Gorn will be killed, you know. If the demon kills, he kills. Alright, so let's take care of the trolls, the giant motherfuckers.
The demon is telling its whole life story, you know. You there. So much for you. So big, and yet I miss. <laughs> wow. One more. One filthy beast less. Go back now. Ooh, almost enough for Dark Mage.
You're lost, aren't you? What makes you say that? You're pretty far off the beaten track here. You don't look like a runaway slave. I'm Tipler. I live here. What are you doing out here? Actually, I'm a hunter. But I spend most of my time repairing my rotten shack. When that gets too boring, I enjoy my homemade booze. Want a taste? Give it here. Here, take it. But be careful. That stuff burns like a snapper fart. Can you show me how to hunt? To be honest, I'm a bit rusty. And I have a thousand things to do. But if you help me out a bit, I can show you how to handle a bow. How can I help you? Not far from here is an old ruin. I often camp out there when I'm hunting. Unfortunately, goblins like to settle in there if I don't check on the place once in a while. Take care of them for me. Easy enough. Will do. Let's go going. We got some go to kill. Ooh. Too close to death. How many did you kill going? Two. Wow. You showed him one filthy beast less. All right, let's go going. Done. Let's see what we got here. Gargoyles, huh? Hmm. I'll come back here later. If I don't forget, that is. Well. Want to do as much as possible, you know, faring as quickly as possible. Because one more level and I can get myself a Dark Madoshi. Hey buddy, come on man. Come. There were only a couple of goblins in the ruins. Did you take care of them? Yep. Well done. If you want, I can show you how to shoot a bow. 
Hmm, I do need hunting though. But this one would be so nice. But I don't know out of my head where to get it, but probably East Star. So I'll just keep to my learning points for now. And uh, once I level up one more time, I'm, I'm trying, gonna try to get Dark Mage, which will make my Belial spells a bit more powerful. Which is good, you know. What are you doing down here? What would I do up there in the village? I'm completely broke. I lost the last of my gold to Curtis in the arena. At least I still have a bottle of Nordmar Nogenfog. It helps me get through the long hours. What do I need to know about the village? Faring is an old stronghold of the Paladins. And now the center of the occupation. Khan, the leader of all the Orcs, is there. And hordes of tough fighters, of course. It's difficult to get in there. But I managed. Who is Curtis? He owns the arena up in the village. It isn't very big. But it's enough to make an impression on the orcs. How did you get into the castle? I worked for the orcs. That's your only chance. But watch out. Once you get them upset, you can forget about the castle. What did you want in the castle? I wanted to get a sword. Not just any sword. A magic ore weapon. Do you know what the smith told me? Just think. He told me I should kill three trolls first. Three trolls! I may be crazy, but I'm not insane. The trolls are dead. Now what? That will certainly impress the orcs. In any case, I'll go back to the castle for now. What are you digging around here for? I'm looking for valuable stuff. It's pretty strange all the things you can find in the debris after a war. Found anything yet? Yeah, I found a great ring. I think it's magic. Ever since I found it, the digging has gone a lot easier. Do you want to buy it? What will it cost? 250 gold coins. Do you have anything else to sell? No, but might you be interested in a little deal? There's a cave very close to here. I'm sure there is a lot to be had there. What's the problem? There is something in that cave. Beasts, monsters, something. You take care of that for me, and I'll give you a fat chunk of ore. I'll buy the ring. Hmm. Now that I'm supposed to give it up, somehow I've grown really fond of it. Ah, no, I'll find a new ring. Here you go. Where is the cave? Next to the tower above the village is a small overgrown valley. The cave is all the way at the end. Now what? Now when you gonna dig up these uh, treasures over here if you're gonna dig them up and if you did dig them up make sure to quick save afterwards because no matter what you do let's say you you know you dig the treasure up you go outside and you die and you reload just before you dig up the treasure the treasure will be gone so you know it's some sort of a bug i think i'm not quite sure so if you're gonna loot chests like this you know Make sure to instantly save afterwards, otherwise you will lose a bit of booty. This is with all the treasures of the game. Even the uh, free nomad armor. Stop tripping man.
do you want, stranger? I want a drink. Sure. Here, have a cool draft. There isn't much left, but it should be enough to rinse the dust from your throat. Are you running out of supplies? You can say that. The orcs are guzzling more than the hunters. By the way, if you need a nap, there's plenty of room upstairs. But keep away from the other guests' belongings. I want to know more about the castle. Ever since Khan and his fighters arrived, they've been admitting only a hand-picked selection of humans. They're not even letting me in, and I could certainly do some great business in there. What other guests do you have? All those mercenaries, and then Ali. He's from the desert. He is also trying to get into the castle. He's running around every night, talking to the orcs. But nobody ever got far with the orcs by talking. He's going to realize that at some point. I will find a way into the castle. Hmm. Me too. Look here. I know something that will benefit us both. Tell me. In order to get into the castle, you need to persuade the orcs out here. I can help you with that. How? I've got some fine booze here. The orcs will like that. Bring them each a bottle, with my compliments. How would that benefit me? I know all the people hanging out here in the village. If you help me, I could give you some useful advice. Fine. Give me your booze, then. Take a bottle each to Mojok, Gorok, and Nar. But don't forget to say hello from me. Where will I find Mojok? Just walk through the village, and then take the path up into the mountains. You will find him by the tower. Where can I find Nar? He's on the path to the castle. All right, so let's sell some shit. Ah, a customer. I just hope you don't want to enter the castle. Since Khan has been holding the castle, the orcs won't let anyone in anymore. And? The whole village is full of mercenaries trying to get into the castle. Barely anyone makes it, though. Can you get into the castle? Sure, but then I've been here longer than most people. I stuck out my neck for the orcs on the battlefield before I ended up here. After the great battle of Faring, they let me have this store. That's more than they would have ever given me in the royal army. Could you help me get into the castle? Sure, I can help you. You could go to the arena like everybody else and slowly rot out here. Or you could directly persuade the three most important orcs outside of the castle. I can assist you with all three of them. It will cost you 100 gold pieces each. Sounds fair to me. Who do I need to persuade? Gorok, first of all. He's down here in the village. Then Nar. He's right by the entryway to the castle. Bojak is an old sot. He's the commander of the guard tower above the city. How do I get Mojok's approval? Bojak is an old sot. Bring him a few bottles of decent booze and he will not refuse you. But it should be really good booze to be sure. What about Gorok? Gorok is stuck with all the work around here. He must see to it that all is quiet in the village. Help him out a little and he will support you. What about Nar? Tough one. Took me a long time to figure out how to win him over. How? With skins. Wolf skins, to be exact. Bring him enough, and he won't be a problem. What about all those mercenaries? Just ignore them. Their kind can be found anywhere, and the orcs know that. They want to hit it big without doing much in return. Nar is aware of that and keeps them out of the castle. Tell me about the battle for Faring. I wasn't there in the first battle. Back then, the paladins managed to stop the vast army of orcs. In the second decisive battle, our troops were led by Khan himself. At first, it looked like we were going to fail again. The siege of the castle went on for days, and we didn't win a single foot of ground. It was the Black Mage who turned the tide. Zardis. Yes, it was spooky. He carried this stone. It was glowing. With every step Zardos took toward the castle, the glow became stronger and brighter. When he stood at the foot of the castle wall, the stone could be seen across the entire battlefield. Nobody could look at it. It would blind you on the spot. Then, suddenly, everything was quiet, and the glow had disappeared. Zardas turned around and left. 
without a word. How can I find Mojok? Follow the path above the village all the way up and you'll get to the tower. Do you know where Zardis went after that? Probably to Nordmar, back to where he came from. Show me your goods. You better stay out of there. <laughs> oh, he has a bit of gold. Hmm, I can get the better Hoshishin armor. Do I have to teleport the stone to firing? Wait here. I'll hold the fort here. I'll do it later. When I have to go uh, and get Dark Mage. All right. If it goes on like that, you'll never get in. Another Mora trying to get there into the castle. Listen, I'm only saying this once. You may only enter the castle if we all agree. We all? That would be me and Mojok, who guards the pass. And Nar, the guardian of the castle. Take my Got advice. it. If you give us any trouble, that is that. No entry I don't for think you. I want to hear this. You can sleep at Flint's. <laughs> Will you give me your approval? You don't have it. Really? So is there anything I can do well, to get it? Show me problem. that we need you. The village has problems enough. Sure, why not? Here, have some booze. Good. I've been waiting for that. With compliments from Flint. I want to cross the pass. Stay out of it. The pass is closed. No more I may pass. Still, I don't like it at all. <laughs> hey. Hey, do you want to trade with me? Or is this about the pass? That's a fair trade. All right. I sell pelts and buy booze. I have only the best, and I want only the best. No haggling. Can you teach me something? For 50 gold, I will show you how to hunt. I want to learn from you. Do you have the gold? Here. All right. What about the pass? The orcs have sealed the pass. Only hunters can get through now. If we're going to take you through there, First, we have to make sure you are the right one. What should I do? I want you to sell this Shadow Beast skin for me. I want you to sell to Nar, the orc in front of the castle. And I want 500 gold coins for it. Where can I find Nar? Usually, he stands in front of the castle. Show me your goods. Let's see the guy. I've been wondering when you'd come. Why? I saw you arrive in the village and knew you'd want to cross the pass. We hunters are the only ones who are allowed to enter Nordmar to hunt. We are also the only ones who can get you over the pass. Tell me about Nordmar. 
hunting in Nordmar is not the same as it is here. The entire country is crisscrossed with deep gorges, and death lurks around every corner. It's the best possible country for hunting, and the most dangerous. Can you teach me something? I'm no teacher. I can give you a tip on where to hunt. If you want to learn something, go see Wilson. Where can I hunt here? There's a pack of wolves down in the woods. Nar will be happy to take the skins. Where is the pass? Up by the tower. Just follow the path. I want to join you. This is how things work. You show me you can pull your weight, and I won't have any objection. Agreed? What should I do for you? You know the fat desert merchant Ali? He's always bragging about an artifact he wants to sell to the orcs. Bring it to me. And how am I supposed to do that? That's your business. Ambush him. Punch him in the face a few times, or steal it. What do you want with the artifact? Above all, I don't want that guy getting into the castle. If his artifact really is from Nordmar, then he stole it. I don't like thieves. Stop. Some valuable things have gone missing here. I, do you know anything about that? Like no. We're watching you. I'm pretty sure I took the Druid Stone. Yeah, I got it. Here is Ali's artifact. I was right. He did steal it. Do you know what this is? An ancestor stone from Nordmar. You are a man of action. As far as I'm concerned, you can join us. Work out the rest with Wilson. What is an ancestor stone? The Nordmarians place them outside the cave tombs of their ancestors. It is said to appease the ghosts. Ali is nothing more than a miserable grave robber. I can take the Ancestor Stone to Nordmar. We'll talk about that once you're one of us. Very well. Ah, another wayfaring stranger. Are you headed for the castle as well? I hope that you carry a suitable gift. What do you mean, a gift? For the Great Khan, I brought an artifact from Nordmar. It cost me a large sum of gold, but this investment will pay for itself. What kind of artifact? A stone. Those ignorant barbarians simply left it lying around in the landscape. Have you been to the castle already? No, the orcs won't let me enter. Khan is very busy. But I'm sure that it won't be much longer now. Everybody can be bought. I only need to find out what it takes to buy the orcs. Tell me about Nordmar. I was lucky that I still managed to cross the pass. Cost me three bottles of booze it did. Good thing it was only that Nordmar rat gut. Gyeh, that stuff is undrinkable. All right, then. What happened in Nordmar? Well, now, even wild snappers couldn't drag me there again. It is awfully cold, and you lose your way all the time. If it hadn't been for my guide, I would probably be dead now. He's also the one who sold me the artifact. And anyways, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you like what you see, subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button if you want to see a gothic series hardcore run and I hope to see you guys in the second part of this episode where we're going to continue the questing for fairing. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and hope to see you guys in the next part.
Sorry, episode.